While it's true that almost any paddle can get your kayak moving, there are a lot of great reasons to take the time to choose the right paddle for the type of kayaking that you want to do. And so in this video, we're going to look at how to select the right kayak paddle. Now to choose the right paddle, the two most important factors you need to consider are the paddle's length and the blade's size and shape. Starting with blade shape, you'll find some paddles with long, thin blades, while other paddles have shorter and wider blades. The long, thin blades are the best choice for casual or long distance paddling. For more aggressive paddling, a shorter and wider blade is ideal. When it comes to blade size, simply enough, smaller paddlers should use a smaller paddle, while larger or heavier paddlers should use a larger paddle. But the same doesn't necessarily hold true for paddle length, because there are a number of other variables to consider. For one, the wider your kayak is, the longer a paddle you're going to need to effectively reach the water. Recreational sit-on-top and sit-inside kayaks are the widest kayaks on the market because they're designed to be stable. This means you'll typically need a longer paddle for these kayaks than you would for touring or sea kayaks, which are much narrower because they're designed for speed rather than stability. Something else to consider if you're paddling a sit-on-top kayak is that sitting on top of the kayak means you're higher off the water than someone in a sit-inside kayak. And so once again, you'll need a longer paddle to effectively reach the water. So with all that said, here's what I suggest. For most people, a great starter paddle is one of Aquabound Stingray models because the blade size and shape make it a really nice all-round style. When it comes to length, if you're paddling a recreational kayak, which are generally over 29 inches wide, you'll want to use a paddle between 230 and 250 centimeters. The taller you are, the longer your paddle should be. If you're paddling a sea kayak or touring kayak, which are generally between 22 and 28 inches wide, you'll want to choose a paddle between 210 and 230 centimeters. If you're willing to spend a bit more, another great option is the telescoping ferrule, which is available with Aquabound's performance line of paddles. The telescoping ferrule lets you shorten or lengthen the paddle by 15 centimeters with a simple twist of the shaft. This lets it easily adapt to different types of kayaks or to your changing needs. Once you've decided on a paddle length and a blade size or shape, your next biggest decision is your budget, knowing that paddles range from $100 to over $400. Now the biggest factor that dictates the price of a paddle is its construction, and that impacts its weight, its performance, its durability, and its aesthetics. As a general rule, the more you spend, the lighter and more performance you'll get from a paddle. Considering that the paddle provides both the power and control for your kayak, I definitely recommend spending as much as your budget will allow. A final consideration when choosing a paddle is the ferrule system, as most paddles come as two-piece designs or even four-piece designs, which makes traveling with them really easy. The connection point at the center of the paddle is called the ferrule, and there are a number of options to choose from. The most basic option is a snap button connection, but Aquabound's PosiLock Ferrule is one of the coolest developments in paddle technology. The PosiLock Ferrule provides a rock solid connection that can be altered by increments of 15 degrees if you like to paddle with your blades feathered. An even more advanced option is the telescoping ferrule, which is only available on Aquabound's top of the line performance paddles. The telescoping ferrule lets you feather the blade at any angle and it lets you adjust the length of the paddle by 15 centimeters. The way it works is simple. You just slide the two pieces together with the marker on the one piece aligned with your desired feather angle on the other. Slide them together until you're at the right length and then twist to lock the paddle in position. So there you have it, a thorough breakdown of how to choose the right kayak paddle. The only other thing I want to say is that your paddle is your connection to the water. And so to get the most out of your time on the water, it's worth investing in a quality paddle. And that's why you should consider an Aquabound paddle.